Well, uh, students, uh, we had discussed uh, so far about the uh, seeding equipment, we discussed the design of the seeding equipment, then we have taken a um, 40 horsepower tractor and a matching seed come fertilizer drill that also we have designed. Now, we would like to tell you supposing you are asked to test, this is very important you know that all there are several uh, testing agencies all over the world. We have the Bureau of Indian Standards which does for uh, testing of all the equipment in country then the outside your European standards are um, followed, but then this is uh, important for certification because then the, the, the manufacturer should be in a position to sell equipment to the, uh, to the uh, consumers and uh, because he has to um, maintain certain uh, parameters, certain strength parameters, certain sizes etcetera of the equipment, it is very essential that they should, they should be certified and tested. So, this in this particular lecture I would like to tell you how to test a seeding equipment. We have discussed the all details, now we will talk how to test a seeding equipment. See what are the things to be tested, for example, when you test a person what do you do, when you test a student what do we do, we try to administer a test on you a question paper and then you write and then we would like to know how, how intelligent you are, how do you take up a certain uh, answer to a certain question and things like that. Similarly, when we test an engine we, we would like to know what is the uh, output of the engine, how, how much the fuel consumption it takes, play, uh, takes and how much is the loading that uh, it, it can withstand and things like that. Similarly, for the seeding equipment, we know that this seeding equipment is to be um, used for seeding a particular uh, crop or a uh, different types of crop, multiple crops. So, we would like to know how is this doing its job what are the different components, whether they are strong enough or not, whether they are up to the mark as per the standards given, where the material of construction, the, uh, the thickness of the material or the size etcetera to a particular tractor or not. And then we would like to give a report because uh, the uh, agencies would like that you test and give a report. So, as an engineer you should know this and that is why we have taken this from the Bureau of Indian Standards for Seeding Equipment. In the details of this you will find uh, if you go to the um, website of the BIS, you will definitely get all the details. So, we have not tampered with the language which they have written, but then I want to present it to you in a slightly different way, but same thing such that you, um, you are conversant with the system and then you should be in a position to do this task whenever you are asked as an engineer. See performance requirement of seed comb fertilizer drill as per the Indian standards we call Bureau of Indian standards which is uh, and uh, so here the variation the parameters what are the different parameters you see here the parameters which are important are with respect to the seeding that how much uh, dropping of seeds should take place uh, not more than uh, it say not more than 7 percent. We want the dropping of seeds in different feeding outlets separately shall be not more than 7 percent. The variation should not be there. Similarly, for fertilizer the variation should not be more than 12.5 percent. Then the variation in the quantity of seed dropped per hectare should not be more than 7 percent. Similarly, very fertilizer dropped per uh, hectare should not be more than 12.5 percent. These are the standards which are already given and we need to follow these. Uh, this, similarly, the seed rate 125 kg, you can go up to seed rate shall be easily adjustable up to 125 kg. That means, you must have adjustment in such a way that uh, maybe from 80 or 90 kg per hectare, it can go up to 120, 120, 125 kg per hectare. This adjustability must be there and similarly, for a fertilizer it should go up to 1000 kg per hectare. This, these are the adjustment which should there. You need to check these whether they are there in that unit which is given to you for testing or not. Similarly, for other parameters uh, performance parameters like performance of visible damage to the seed should not be more than 0.5. percent uh, visible damage, visible damage should not be more than 0 0.5 percent, 
should not be 0.5 percent uh, dropping variation dropping uh, out of the box at 1 fourth half and 3 fourth retail capacity shall not be more than 10 percent. The variation in the quantity of seed dropping due to, due to the change in the speed shall not be more than 15 percent and similarly for variation in quantity of seed per meter then uh, the then sown seed per 100 meter depth now minimum 25 millimeter side of the seed. Th these are differences which we need to put say for, for the dropping of the fertilizer. Similarly, for animal drawn seed. Now, we will not talk of animal drawn here, but then since the uh, bureau tells we have given you this value also, you can understand at one location and uh, take care of the differences if you are asked to do for a animal drawn, if you are asked to do for a um, tractor drawn unit, you can take care of this. And there is also the drill should be multi crop. They insist if it is a multi crop seed drill, it is good. For whom? It is good for the consumer or the farmer then he need not have to go for different types and the examples are particularly those the barley, paddy, millet, peas, bengal gram, soybean and pigeon pea. Now, these are the ones which can be uh, with little bit of adjustment. For example, when you talk of this uh, multi crop, maybe that if you are talking of fluted roll, it can take care of. If you are talking of a plate, then the plate size could be just changed and then the whole thing can be used. So, you have to have these parameters. You must look into these parameters when you are talking of the testing. Material for construction of different components. This is very important. See, you, you must know we have discussed all this in detail, and here the Bureau wants that these materials they must conform to these materials of construction. The, the unit which is given to you for testing must conform to this. For example, the frame, for the frame and toolbar, mild steel. Then or the details are given over here. Similarly, the tines, the boot, then the furrow openers, seed agitator. Similarly, fertilizer agitator. These are important. That what material they are made of. So this has been all explained over here, and you must confirm whether they are there or not. And if they are of different, you must note down. You will have to create a report in the end, which I will talk slightly later. Then, therefore, these are important things to be looked into whether the manufacturer has in incorporated these or not. So, for each of the seed metering mechanism here, the uh, the fertilizer plate, the bushes, the coverings, the pulley and sprocket for the transmission mechanism, the depth adjustment, row marker, etc all these materials have been given and their specifications have been given. So, you must see that the material, the seeding equipment which is given to you conforms to these uh, material of construction, then only you should ok it. Otherwise, if there is anything different, you must check. Sometimes, you will have to also test these materials, whether the material which he says is really a material or not, you will have to go to a real testing agency to find out whether the tines are having that much of uh, carbon in this one or not or what is the constituents of that. Sometimes, you have to do that as well. Testing of seeding equipment. Now, what, what are the types of seeding that we do here uh, equipment testing which we do? We do laboratory test and field test. Yes, because uh, in the laboratory we would like to do certain test and see what happens in the field we would like to conduct test and see what happens because then uh, we have once we confirm as a designer or as a tester certificate test certification uh, certification certification giving agency if you want then you will have to talk about this because you on the basis of your uh, certification the government may give some subsidy or the government may allow the person to manufacture this in large number and it is very important you must pick up how do you pick up this See, this is very important part of it because see the selection and preparation of the drill for test. How do you do it? In fact, this is very essential because what may happen is that the manufacturer may give you the unit and say that sir, please test this unit. You have tested this unit from all corners and following all the procedures, but then you find that uh, the one which is sold to you is really made of all the materials of construction and uh, conforms to all the requirements but the ones subsequently which he is making and producing a large number are different and then therefore, there will be 
uh, unnecessary blame on the manufacturer or the certificating agency and therefore, it is important that the selection should be uh, random from the production line. It should be random. Generally, what is to be done is when the uh, when you go, you must pick up from the line randomly and then tag it and put a seal on that and then that um, should be transported to you. You should check the seal before it uh, you open it for testing etcetera. So, this has to be done. This is very important when you are talking of a uh, commercial report which you want to give. Sometimes you also give a confidential report where uh, which will be only given to the uh, manufacturer to let him know that these are the things which you must uh, 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 change. So, for a confidential commercial test this is what you need to do first. These are the calibrations well we have discussed this calibrations we want that in the laboratory how do you calibrate it has been discussed to you long back that you would like to see that um, a certain number of rotations of the wheel ground wheel will see how much uh, falls and accordingly you should be able to work out that per hectare what is the amount and all that you should be in a position to find out the total number and total amount. And uh, these are the procedure has already been explained to you in the earlier uh, my lectures. That is why I may not go into details of this, but then definitely I will tell you that you should follow these and uh, in order that uh, these tests are confirmed in the laboratory condition not that well we have just put, but there should be a standard way of following and the standard way of data collection because then you will have to report this data until, until unless you report the data nobody will uh, believe you and no certified agency will believe you or nobody who will take your report until unless you have these details. So, seeding rate you should be in a position to get the seeding rate. Some major crops the seeding rates are given here because then the, these are the ones which uh, generally followed. So, you should be in a position to take care of the seed rate which you get here and the seed rate is a standard seed rate which are um, said whether you get this or not you should confirm to the uh, this requirement. Calibration data sheet yes this is what I was telling that you need to see weight of see weight of seed in kg for for per for number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 these are the, the number of times you should uh, conduct this test and then you should take the average and the according they said you should find out the seed from all the for openers uh, from here like this is the test number and these are the uh, actually number 1, number 2 like uh, all these details are here from where you can get the values and uh, those values should be recorded here whether you have done it 5 times, 6 times or not test number 1 here then 1, 2, 3 this is the average. And uh, the details are given here the capacity of your test of seed, kind of seed, variety of seed details these are details which are as per the uh, standards mind you and this sheet you will require because whatever you have done you must enter into this sheet and then only you will be able to put the record while you are writing the report. Different uh, um, seeding rates then seed distribution shall be recorded on similar performer. The similar performer will be there for seed distribution what is the distribution of the seeds. Data sheets shall be extended or additional number of for openers for addition number if you have more for openers then uh, maybe uh, for each one of them this data sheet should be extended. This is only a, a format which is given to you. So, you should be careful about this, but then you need to record your data for the calibration. Testing of the fertilizers similarly for the fertilizers you should also do for as for the fertilizer also you should do weight of the fertilizer in kg from fur openers different fur openers are there then you can get what is the average value this is the test number how many tests you want to do if the fur openers are more you can do the same thing which I had discussed uh, earlier and similar for pharma should be followed. So, that the data is available here and one can see that uh, for all the um, uh, 
test which you have done under laboratory condition or in the field condition, what where are those data put? This is what we are talking with respect to laboratory conditions. And so, for physical condition of the fertilizer and the fertilizer distribution, how the distribution takes place, everything this has to be there for the uh, these three items. Well, mechanical damage. This is very important because many times uh, you should also see that the type of metering mechanism which they have given, whether the metering mechanism is uh, uh, is damaging the seed or not, because uh, you may find that he has designed a mechanism in such a way that whenever the seed is metered, you there is a phys physical damage to that, and it could be a damage which is yield critical. It could be a superficial damage, but we need to know that. How will you know? we have to take this uh, uh, the seed initially and then grow uh, in, into the um, uh, laboratory and see what is the percentage germination and then once you have metered it uh, several number of times and then see what is there and uh, try to um, germinate them again and find out the difference. So, if the germination takes place um, similarly then you should know that even if there is a um, damage or there is some um, superficial damage that is not going to yield critical damage and that is why you can take that, but then it is very essential and for that you need to again record, again record the data into data sheet here, because this will give you proof that you have gone for the mechanical damage test also, you have gone following the various uh, uh, procedure. This is the procedure which has been for which is actually uh, properly written into the code and we have taken from the code. So, there is no tempering of the information here. I am only trying to put them together and let you know that how do you do when you, you are encountered for such a task. Now, the seeding uniformity is very important because how uniformity the seeds are falling or the fertilizer. Now, the methods which are uh, followed uh, are sticky belt method, um, the method which is then at IIT Kharagpur, we um, have a sticky belt method which is developed at IIT Kharagpur. The, there is a sticky belt here, you can see that there is a sticky belt here and there is a Hall effect sensor in order to find out uh, the speed Then vacuum gauge is there, vacuum blower is here, seed ring metering unit and then uh, rotor and then a rotor encoder etcetera, because these are essential for you to see that how do you find what is the seed which has fallen, what is the spacing of the seed, how much is the dispersion and the uniformity etcetera. So, you will be in a position to use this. This is the setup which has been developed at IIT Kharagpur for sticky belt method. There could be another methods by which uh, you can uh, test these. We will go to the other method. Sand bed method. Well, this is another many a times uh, in the sticky belt only on the surface of that the seed is fallen, but sand bed you would like to put the whole seed drill with this generally this is one row. The sticky belt may be generally one row because we are doing in the laboratory, but then the sand bed method one is that you can have a large sand bed and where you can operate the whole unit and then measure what is the number of seeds which are fallen, where they have fallen, what is the spacing what is sometimes the depth etcetera, we can uh, see about the whole thing and then uh, find out. So, the test must be done at least three times. Now, remember that whatever uh, data you take, these must have some, some must be subjected to statistical testing. Some statistics must be there, you cannot say that one, only one data you have taken and say that this is fine. No, you should say uh, take sufficient number of uh, tests and uh, replications to confirm your data and confirm your inferences what you want to give. So, for the seeding unit uniformity here, uh, there is a um, procedure, now there is a, you can see this seeding unit data sheet, this data sheet is very important, you will find the belt or bed length in meters, these are the details here, this is the average value you get and what you get, date, kind um, of seed, variety of seed length of the belt or the sand bed, width of belt or sand bed, speed of belt, seed distribution duration of the test. Now, these are important and with respect to this, this is the, this is the total uh, data sheet. So, you must follow this data sheet 
when uh, while you do this under laboratory condition this will help you in creating the report well field um, operation it is very important then once you have tested in the laboratory you need to test in the field as well because we see in the laboratory we have tested a certain portion of it once it goes into the field what is its performance its performance of all the times etc and then whole metering mechanism whether choking takes place or not you will operate actual field condition you will create a some, uh, proper seed bed uh, or seed uh, you can say the soil tilt in which this uh, has to be operated you have to create that proper condition and then only we can do this field operation this is the one uh, work done this is the one which we have done at uh, iit kharagpur so we are showing you we are testing uh, this particular uh, seed com fertilizer drill and uh, that's why we have shown you here so the seed plot should be rectangular yes you should uh, have have a proper plot generally we see that the um, plot size is always rectangle most of the times because we have to think of the uh, the turning losses we must think of the turning loss then only uh, we generally find that 2 is to 1 ratio is the one which is acceptable to us so you have the field and properly um, create this field uh, um, with uh, tillage or enough tilt of that that means tillage operations so that you create a enough tilt and then on that you can operate your seed drill for the field uh, operation field testing of the seed drill seed placement well this this is important uh, how uh, field testing the seed placement where the seed has been placed properly or not with respect to the fertilizer if you want so uh, just let's have some of these things see operate the seed drill in field under good seed bed condition as i said about the tilt with average depth setting of the furrow openers there should be average depth setting which you want we had taken in the other case about 6 uh, uh, centimeters or 60 mm in the uh, design case if you recall cover at least 100 meter of row length just cover this well you need not uh, do one hectare and then do it generally we require that about at least half a hectare or so should be for any tractor drawn unit testing but then for the test which you are talking of a field testing of the seed drill for seed placement at least 100 meter roll in should be there then careful remove the soil without disturbing the seed and fertilizer at several spots a minimum five spots in each row and then see what is the location this is very important carefully remove and then check because this is important to you once the seed this has passed you will know that yes this is the location at which the seed and fertilizer falls in this particular uh, seed com fertilizer drill measure the depth of seed below the soil surface and the vertical spacing of the fertilizer with respect to the seed very important these are very important uh, things which need to be um, uh, considered while seed placement because then seed placement is not proper in the seed drill then you must reject it power requirement well field testing of seed drill when we are talking of the power requirement if you are talking of a trailed seed drill well a, although it is connected to the uh, unit but then we are calling the trailed seed drill because we are taking power of its uh, operation we are taking from the uh, uh, ground wheel so for is, what is the insert dynamometer now here certain things need to be logged into see a dynamometer is to hitch measure to draft so a dynamometer is used for measuring the draft because in between the uh, the the seed drill and the tractor you can have a dynamometer you can have a hydraulic dynamometer you can have any load cell etc and then you can measure the draft while it is being pulled so it is easier for a trail type but if it is mounted type then you will have a different requirement whether you can have a three point linkage dynamometer to find out the actual draft and all that but then for this trail seed we we are explaining you here then lay off a 50 meter in middle of long, long row and mark each end of the space with an easily distinguishable pole now these are essential things which we are talking with respect to the power requirement stopwatch 
or other accurate time piece should be used to record time for the machine to traverse the marked uh, run length because we are interested to know how much is the uh, wheel slip which takes place and what should be the actual speed at which, which it works and therefore, its speed is uh, found out here and then the power requirement will be known. This is power. So, repeat the procedure at least 3 times, yes this procedure should be repeated 3 times to get uh, a sufficient value of uh, this um, the uh, power requirement of that unit when you have uh, attached this particular seed comfort as it is to the tractor or to the unit power source and the power source most of the time here we are discussing with respect to the tractor only. It is a question of whether it is a 40 horsepower tractor which I discussed there or a 20 horsepower tractor you want. So, depending on that it can vary. This is a field performance data sheet. This is important. You need to uh, maintain this again. See, the data sheet has to be um, dotted. The date at which you have done, then the description of the seed bed, then the type of the soil, soil moisture, bulk density, test condition, the seed come fertilizer drill, source of power, uh, whether this is tractor or whatever, and then test uh, for seeds, kind of seed, variety of seeds, etcetera and then uh, test of fertilizer all these details. So, for each one of this is for the seed, this is for fertilizer, these data sheets need to be prepared as per the test which you have done in the field. Placement of data sheet, this is how you place the data sheet with respect to uh, the measurement of seed and fertilizer placement, how they are uh, placed. Power requirement data sheet, well the, we discussed power requirement if it is a trail type seed drill, this is the details uh, which are given here. The power requirement we must put what was the date of this and this is a trail type seed drill. So, these are the way we can put the data here, you can see the total marked space, run, length of run, time is spent for to cover, run in seconds, speed, revolutions, then wheel slip in percent average draft measured, the meter the metric horsepower, the theoretical field capacity. Accordingly for mounted type of seed drill accordingly these values should also be uh, found out for the mounted type seed drill. And for mounted type seed drill as I said you should have a different dynamometer to do this thing. We at IIT Kharagpur we have developed a 3 point linkage dynamometer which in uh, course of my another lecture I will let you know what is this and how accurate is this uh, for finding out this. It is very important. We have done at IIT Kharagpur and hence I will uh, let you know this which is not available anywhere else. So, this is the way you can um, put the uh, power requirement data sheet here. Field efficiency and labor requirement data sheet, yes this is the data sheet which talks of when the um, uh, at what time it was done, what is the field capacity, how much is the labor required and then what is the fuel consumption of the tractor, how much uh, theoretical field capacity you got, what is the field capacity you got and all that. All details you must record over here as per the um, format which is given by the BIS. Then summary sheet, now summary report, this details which you have talked of remember that until unless you give a proper report uh, to, the, uh, to the agency who has come to you for testing, your report will not be there. And for this you should be qualified uh, engineer who can certify this, who has tested as per these and, um, and uh, taken the uh, reports and data as per the data sheet which is given, followed all the detailed requirement, then only you can uh, check whether it is a commercial or a confidential test. For a commercial test, these are the all the requirements. For a con, if it is confidential, certain uh, data which will not be there um, in that, and it is given in the uh, in the uh, the Bureau of Standards uh, whole procedure itself. So the ultimately, then the um, summary report or the test engineer has to sign and then forward it to you. Thank you very much.